Greetings and salutations all, as the Spectrum here again, and today we start our look at Hacknet. Developed by Team Fractal Alligator, a one-man powerhouse out of Adelaide, Australia, Hacknet was first released worldwide in August 2015, and is currently available on Steam and GOG for about 10 bucks Canadian, and I'll throw a link to those down below. And what really sets Hacknet apart is that it is a terminal-based hacking simulator, which is to say that 90% of the game is based on actual Linux commands, which adds a level of immersion which is very nice, especially for anyone with a programming or Linux background like yours truly. So without further ado, let's hop into Hacknet and see what it's all about. This is Spectrum password. Well, I think one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We'll go ahead and carry that over. In we go. All right. So our terminal is booting up. Good to see. Oh, a 14-day timer expired, initializing failsafe. Hi, this is strange, stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write this in past tense, though I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. And... If you're still reading this, you're a very slow reader. Alright, come on. Terminal is booting up. Alright, and we have a tutorial. As of right now, you are at risk. Learn as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by pressing the continue button below. Connect to a computer by typing connect IP in the terminal or by clicking on a node on the network map. Connect to your own computer. Good work. The first thing to do on any system is scan it for adjacent nodes. This will reveal more computers on your map that you can use. Scan this computer now by pressing the scan network button on the display module. That should be all you'll need from your own computer for now. Disconnect from your machine. Ba -doop. It's time for you to connect to an outside computer. Be aware that attempting to compromise the security of another's computer is illegal under the USC Act. 1030-18. Proceed at your own risk. Connect to an outside machine by clicking a blue node on the network map. That's a, that's a little intimidating. Busting out a computer security act. This virtual machine terminal module has been activated. This will be your primary interface for navigating and interacting with nodes. A command can be run by typing N typing it out and pressing enter. A computer security system can open ports and be analyzed using probe or nmap command and analyze the computer you are currently connected to. And so we can go nmap. Here you can see the active ports, active security, and the number of ports required to successfully crack this machine using port hack. This machine has no active security and requires no open ports to crack. If you are prepared to, it is possible to crack this computer by using the program port hack. Run the program port hack. And so what we did with nmap and what we're going to continue doing here is use our terminal and this is what really gives this that level of immersion I was talking about earlier so and one of the nice things is just like in Linux you got your first little bit in there hit tab 
finishes it up for you. Congratulations, you have taken control of an external system and are now its administrator. You can do whatever you like with it. However, you should start by scanning for local nodes. To locate additional computers, do this by using the scan command. No results, not a problem. Next, you should investigate the file system. List the files and folders in the current directory. So, for the tutorial, we could go ahead and click this, but it's always good to just get into the practices of what we're going to be doing, and that's going to be using the ls command. Boom. Navigate to the bin folder, binary folder, to search for useful executables using the command cd folder. So, we're going to cd change directory to the bin folder and then we have the configure text file now you could click on this to open it up but as I said working on our good practices we will open it up with cat and there we go totally useless now to clear your tracks before you leave Move up a folder in the directory tree using cd dot dot. Note the wildcard dot dot indicates back or up. So we can go cd wildcard and bop right back up. cd log to hop into here. And then rm asterisk. And that asterisk is a wildcard that in indicates we want everything. Which is what this says here. Delete all files in this directory. Alright. Tutorial. Excellent work. Now disconnect from the computer. Hey, and we've done it. Uh, congratulations, you have completed the guide section of this tutorial. To finish it up, you must locate the process ID of this tutorial program and kill it. Type the help command will give you a complete command list and, and at any time. So we can help, there we go. And so let's just go through this super quick because it's going to be very helpful for later. We've got help and then page number, which we can help, allows us to navigate the help section. We've got SCP file name, optional destination. This will copy files, whether they be text files or applications. Um, the default location for any applications is the bin folder. Scan we've already used, that helps us look for other computers on a network. RM we've also used, that will allow us to either delete a specific file if we use it. So as an example, we can go into, oh, we don't actually have any files yet. <laughs> Never mind. Um, but if we were to like rm a file dot text, it would just delete a file dot text. So then we've got ps, which will list all the current processes and their process IDs, which is what we're going to need to do to finish this. And then kill the ID is how we will finish this. LS to list all files in the current directory and CD to move. We have already covered those. Um, MV will move or rename files, which is very helpful. And then the connect IP. And that's really all we're using right now. So we'll leave it at that. Let's go ahead and pull up our processes and kill 144. And we have completed the tutorial just like that. First contact. Hi, I don't know you and I'm sad to say that I never will. But if you're reading this, it means you might be the only person that can make things right. Right now I'm trapped. There's no way out, not enough time, and I need your help. But there's something you need to take care of first. The faster the better. Hacknet OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now. After a while, an automated tracker will activate itself. We can't let that happen. Connect to your own node. It should be green on your net map. Then find and delete securitytracer.exe. 
when you're done, re just reply to this email. Hurry, bit. All right, so let's go ahead and disconnect from the mail. And we're actually already connected to our own computer because it's our computer. So we'll hop on over to the bin file. RM security tracer. Just like that, that's gone. And we're rocking and rolling. So, great, that should keep you safe for now, at least from your own computer. Before we start, you're going to need a few things. Port hack alone just isn't going to cut it on most modern computers you'll find. Not ones with anything worth looking at anyway. You should start by checking up on a friend of mine. He goes by Viper. Awful, I know. He's honestly not the brightest crayon in the box, but he always seems to get a hand full of use. Oh, but he always seems to get a hold of useful code. You should have no problem getting into his files. Finding something useful might be a bit more of a challenge. All right, yeah, this, you can just ignore stuff that we don't really need. And so we could connect like that, but because that's not how we roll, we're gonna go ahead and connect to 80.232.230.199. Boom, and we're in. So we, end map pops up, zero, cracks required so then that means we can port hack and in we go and we are in so let's scan because that's good practice and now we want to list files and we're going to check out the, not the bun folder the bin folder we're going to grab the SSH crack program, just like that. And we're going to hop on out of here and CD. Home. Make sure that there's nothing of anything use here. No, nope, that's all just text files, nothing we need in there. And into the work file. All just text files and log files, nothing we need. So then we could do cd dot dot twice to hop up the chain of command, but because this is Linux, we can change directory to slash, which is the equivalent of root. And that brings us right to the top. And then we're into the log files and we delete. And we disconnect, hop right on over here, and just keep on rolling. Congratulations. I honestly have no way of knowing if you succeeded in this responder, but if you're seeing this, it means you at least found something, and I'm going to assume it's something really useful. You should try breaking one of my old test servers. If Viper had the sort of thing he's known for getting laying around, you should have everything you need to get in. Remember, any non-basic programs you get need a port number to run them, like this. SSH crack 22, where that's the file name and that's the port number. So now we're looking at the bitwise computer and we connect to 145 170 250 20 and in we go so it requires one crack the ssh crack that we just got we assign it to port 22 it does its thing and just like that, we're in. So now we can port hack it. And as that goes through, just like that, we're in. We go ahead and take a look at him. We'll switch over to the home directory. Okay. 
Congratulations, you win. So then let's pop on up here. We're gonna head back on over to the log folder because even though this is a tutorial mission, we're gonna get in the habit of deleting our files because it doesn't matter how many times you tell yourself, it's always good to double check that you've done everything. So CD log, everything's empty. We'll go ahead and disconnect from here. Hop into here. The maiden flight was a success. Something in return. Here's where things start to get a little harder. I need to ask a favor. I've been getting a little hoo hoo. I've been a little sloppy lately, which is what got me into this whole mess. It's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is there's some logs on a few computers that I'd prefer weren't there. You should remember this, if you forget everything else I tell you, don't get sloppy. Delete your logs. If you haven't been, start now. Everything you do on a modern operating system is tracked and logged in the log folder. Just go in there and RM the whole thing. Never forget to. Thanks and good luck. So, we're going after Mr. P. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Alright, and it's 179. Two four six one five nine two zero oh, seven, and we're in. And we take a look at what it's needing. It needs that SSH crack on the port twenty two. We can get our port hack ready to launch as soon as this goes green. And just like that, we rock and roll. And we're in, and we're here for the log files. Just like that. Okay. Nice and quick, smooth running. Reply to this. Where to go from here? That is a good question. All right, if you see this, then you've done well, and well, all this might actually be worth something. Is that too much to hope for? It seems like a lot to hope for. I realize that I just don't have time to write this whole thing. There's no way. Too much to learn, and I don't have the time to do any of it. So, I'm going to need to ask something more. There's a group that goes by the name Entropy. That's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more when you're ready. I'll contact you again from beyond the grave. As for getting into entropy, you'll need to bypass a proxy server. A few shells, open using the command shell, running on computers you've already got admin access on should be able to override it. Good luck and thank you. So, Education network, always good to have. It'll help us if we're not sure what to do in the future in the entropy test server. So, where's Viper? So before we do this, we need some shells open. And we'll do that right quickly by hopping over here into the shell. And now that we've opened that, we can actually go into the log folders and get rid of that right off the bat. So even if we do launch an overload from our shell. It won't say where the grabbing of that originated from, so. Alrighty then, in we go, get rid of those, and we're ready. Let's rock and roll. And so end map, network map, proxy detected, overload. And it's down, we need to crack port 22. 
And then we we have an open port and we hack. Uh, I gotta say, I really do enjoy this this soundtrack. It's it's really good. All right, let's check out the home. Entropy induction test. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Congratulations! Download this file to complete your induction test. All right, so let's download the file. And let's hop over to the logs and go ahead and clean those on out. And just like that, we are done with that. Before we go and check what they had to say to us, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and close out all of our shells and wipe clean our log files. And this one. Alrighty then, and that's done in a way. Confirmation mission. Greetings, S's Spectrum. Let me be the first to congratulate you on locating and passing the Entropy Group entrance exam. While to an experienced hacker, it's a relatively trivial task, surprisingly few actually seem to manage it. Before we will be able to allow you to officially join the group, we must further confirm your abilities. A tabloid news server has been taken, has recently taken a negative stance towards entropy, and we'd like to temporarily disable their operations. As a second test of your skills, we ask you to bring down this server's message board. If you can, Leave the non-entropy related articles and the rest of the server intact. We do not wish to needlessly be destructive. Alright, so we've got one last mission before they pull the trigger on bringing us in. So let's get that done real quick. 224.55.236.2 to the slash bot. Ha! It would help if we told the computer to connect to it. And network map. Proxy detected. Okay. We need our shells. Not shell. There we go. And shell. And I believe that Mr. Anderson and the Viper should be good enough for this one. Back in. And we overload. And we prep for the hack as soon as the proxy's down. And it's down. We've got the SSH port hack running. And the port is open and we are dialing in and there we go bring this up we want the message board cd config oh haha <laughs> cat config config.syst in this folder is a critical system file. Do not delete or rename it. Doing so will crash the board and bring the host program down. Sounds like we found what we're looking for. RM config. Hmm, no. My goodness, RM, 
<laughs> that do it. That'll do it. That's gone. And now let's just make sure that we've got all of the messages gone too. So we're looking for listings. Entropy group engaged in malicious hacking? Well, that's gotta go. Um, suspicions arise over entropy? That's gotta go. Is your data at risk? Yeah, that's probably gotta go too. And we'll go up and we'll go take a look at closed. Nothing in there, perfect. Up to root, over to logs. We get rid of everything. No fingerprints. Haha. <laughs> we go ahead and disconnect. Close out our the little shells. Head on over to their logs. And get rid of that. And with that done and we get rid of that and we reply greetings SS spectrum congratulations your timely execution of your first contract has proven your abilities and now I can gladly welcome you to entropy as a small welcoming gift You'll find your user details of the admin account to our asset server attached. Help yourself to any programs you might need and view our mantra. Once you're geared up, reply to this address and I will arrange a true test of your abilities. Again, congratulations, Tex. All right, so we've got that and we've got that. And what we've also got is a perfect time, I'd say, to call this one a day. So I, uh, I certainly hope you've enjoyed our first uh, peek at Hacknet. I, uh, I really think we're going to be able to have some fun with this one. Um, if, you, uh, if you've been enjoying what you've been seeing here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button to get notified when the next video goes live. With that being said, I am S's Spectrum. Have yourselves a great day, and I will see you next time.